In my five plus years of teaching people how to make games, I have spotted some patterns that all people, like every single person, repeats over and over again when it comes to learning how to code and make games. And this is also referring to coding in general, like coding apps and whatnot. And this is one issue that is holding back like the majority of you guys. So I suggest that you watch this video till the end, then you can go watch your cat video. But listen to me what I have to say, because this is going to cut your learning time by a lot, okay, by a lot. And what am I referring over here is, well, People, when they start to learn how to code and make games, a lot of them, the majority of them, want to know everything. What do I mean by this? Well, they follow a tutorial, be that a course or a YouTube tutorial, and they see a certain thing, how it goes. They want to learn everything. Like, they want to know why is this like this? Why, how does it do? What, how it works behind the scene? So on and so forth. And this is something that I don't recommend that you need to do. And this is something that you don't even have to do, even if you're a pro coder. For example, you have some functions that are built into Unity, Unreal Engine, whatnot. For example, let's say, Math app dot sign or co cosine cosine or whatever. How I know in the comment section you're gonna be like technically I don't care. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, but just kidding. Let's take that for example. Now people want to know how that works behind the scene and why? Just why do you need to know how something works behind the scene if you know what it will do for you? What is the job of that? For example, we also have the lerp function which interpolates. It goes from A to B in a time period. So for example, if you have A which is equal to zero and B is equal to two, it will go from zero to two in the time interval that you specify and people will know how, how does it do it? It's not important. You know how it works, you know what it will do for you and you know how to use it in your game. So there is no need for you to look under the hub and know how the specific thing works. And even the pros, like the pros pros, and I talk to them, you know, like not every single pro, but I've talked to people who are into the industry, like, you know, 10 years and so on and so forth. And they don't know these things because it's not relevant. You know, you should only know the things that are relevant to you, especially if you're learning and you are in the beginning. If you try to dig under the hub and see how, you know, everything works, it will just postpone your time you will get confused even more and you will not understand how things go. That's why I don't suggest people to, you know, look up what it, how things work. For example, if you sit in your car, do you know how the engine starts? Do you know how the engine takes fuel from, the, from your car and then converts it into energy that pushes your car forward or backward, you know, forward or reverse, depending on where you're driving? No, you don't, but you know that your car will do that. Well, this is the same exact thing. And if you don't know something like you want to find out a specific thing, how to do it for your game, just Google it, man. Google is your best friend. Even the pros of the pros, the best programmers, the best game developers in the world, they use Google a lot on a daily basis to solve problems in their code. So it doesn't make you less of a coder if you don't know everything how it works, uh, you know, how, how the developers who created that framework, how they implemented that behind the scene. And I'm talking this from experience. You know, I had that issue. I see a lot of people asking me those same questions in my courses. They post questions like, okay, but how does this work? How does that work? You don't have to know how everything works behind the scene. It will not make you better. So it will just get that out of your head. It will not make you a better coder. That never happens. It never happened to anybody and it will not happen to you or anyone until the end of the world, okay? And you will not benefit from it. You will just waste time. And as I said, if you are in the beginning, you will get frustrated. You will, it will postpone your learning time. You will get more confused and you will not understand what you are doing. Because if you're in the beginning, if you still didn't get a grasp how functions work, how classes work, how object-oriented programming works, how to put that together in a game, how to use that in your game. You will just get more confused if you want to learn how cosine is calculated behind the scene, how, you know, sine is calculated behind the scene, what does, you know, how does vector three normalize work behind the scene and so on and so forth. So this is another pattern that I have spotted and I'm giving away wisdom in this video. No, but just kidding. Another pattern that I have spotted with a lot of students, which makes their learning journey hard. And I even saw 
some of them quit because of things like this. So my two cents for this video, hopefully it will not get long because, you know, I like to milk the ads over here. We are going to make it 10 minutes in, you know, one second. But anyways, <laughs> anyways, as I said, my two cents for this video is if you don't understand something, it doesn't matter. Just move on at that current point. Later on, you can look it up if you just, if you truly want to know how it works, but I don't recommend that, especially in built in things like this. You can understand what it does. That is another diff. That is another thing. Understanding what it does, knowing what vector three normalize is versus knowing how it is implemented behind the scene is another thing. So you should know what that specific thing will do for you in your code, in your game to create it, but you should not look behind the scene. How does, how is it implemented and so on and so forth. And you will see when you stop doing that, you will start to understand a lot of things and you will see how you will progress quicker in your learning journey. That's it for this video, guys. Hopefully I didn't bother you with 10 minutes of yada, 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 but just kidding, it's not 10 minutes. Anyways, fire here from us.com. If you want to check out Mount Ultimate Game Development Academy, we have around 50 courses now, like 50 courses. You can get with a discount. Link will be in the description below. And I will see you guys in the next video.